In today's video, I'm going to show you how to calculate time and duration here in Google Sheets. So we have our data set right here where I'm going to try and figure out the clock out time for my employees using their clock in and the hours that they've logged in. And I'm going to do the same thing by calculating the duration, this time using the start time and the end time. And before we get started, don't forget to format your cells. For example, for our duration column, if you want to format this in duration, all you have to do is go to format, select number, and then click on duration right here, just under date and time. If you click on that, you've now formatted those cells. If you don't format your cells, if you try and put in your duration like so, put in nine, colon, 25, colon, and 34. If you press enter, that is formatted into time. If you double click, you'll see there's an AM right here. Now we don't want that for our duration. So if we put in our duration right here, we have our hours, minutes, and seconds. So we have nine hours, 24 minutes, and 35 seconds. If we press enter and double click on it again, it's not formatted into time. Now for a formula on how to get our clock out time. So our formula is quite easy. All we have to do is put in our equal sign. We have a suggested formula right here, which is incorrect. We are going to start with a clock in plus our duration. So we're getting the sum of our clock in and our duration, which will give us the answer of 530 as our clock out time. If you press enter, there you have it. This employee right here has worked from 805 until 530. As you notice here, our time is formatted into the 12 hour format. Now, if you're using the 24 hour format, you can simply change the time format by going to format, selecting number, and then go to the bottom where you'll see custom date and time. If you click on that, there are many options to choose from, and you can choose the 24 hour format right here. If you click on it and select apply, that time format will be applied to your cell. And that's how you format it into the 24 hour format, but we're going to stick to the 12 hour format and undo that. Let's try that again. We have our second example right here. We have nine hours. And you'll see that we have 64 minutes. Now, if we try and put that in zero seconds, if we press enter, that 60 minutes has been carried over to our hours, which turned our nine into a 10 and the remaining four minutes. So our nine hours and 64 seconds is 10 hours and four seconds converted. Now let's try and do our formula again. Start with your equal sign. And now we have the correct suggested formula, which we will just click on. And there you have it. We have 604 as our clock out time for this employee. Now, if we fill in the rest of our data, we have here the different sets of duration. And if we just double click on this part right here of our clock out time, it will fill in the rest of our data. So that's calculating time for this particular example. Let's try and do our duration. So I'm just going to copy this clock out time right here. Pay special and values only. So to calculate for our duration, all we have to do is start with our equal sign, deduct our end time to our start time. If we press enter, we have the duration of 9 hours, 24 minutes, and 35 seconds, which is the same right here. And if we double click on this, we have filled in the rest of our data and we have successfully calculated the duration using the end time and our start time. And that's how to calculate time and duration here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.